Creating art allows me to be alive. It's one of those few beautiful narratives that we have as human beings to create, and you can showcase and be proud of it. My name is Caleb Owens, and I am assistant professor here uh, at CSUN. I worked 25 plus years in visual effects and animation. Art is a language, it creates dialogue, it inspires people, it inspires change. The portrait artist named Chuck Close, seeing some of his work and books, I would copy it and at a very young age. Later in my life, I got to meet him. It was a really bizarre, amazing experience to meet the guy that inspired me to become an artist. To be honest with Am I capable of this? This is something I really enjoy. This is what I really want to do. Do I really like this? That's the first and foremost thing. And if you can tell yourself that art is not necessarily a choice. In other words, um, I wake up every morning, I have to do this. This is who, part of who I am. Job opportunities and competition are always going to be there. That never should be a reason to deter you um, from pursuing you know, what your love is and what your joy is. My name is Hakan Engvig, but my friends call me Hawk. I am a graphic designer and web developer by trade. Back in high school, my passion was drawing. I just, I loved to illustrate and I would spend most of my time in all my classes just doodling. And then uh, being in a metal band for a long time, I, uh, I was like the creative one in the group. So one of the new logo, or like a merch idea or like a poster or something like that, I would be the one creating all the content for it. My biggest passion being teaching, I knew that if I wanted to be a good teacher, the only real way to do that, not to short change or be stagnant or give old information is to be relevant and viable and involved with the field. I don't think I'd be doing my job correctly as a teacher if I didn't do this professionally as well. You can start at a small basis and know a little bit of information and you can already start helping a lot of people. But the hardest thing, I think, is just knowing where you fit inside a spectrum. Because some people love design versus somebody who completely develops and does nothing but code but can't really design that well. So anywhere in that spectrum, especially if you find yourself right in the middle, you can do well. Do well. If you don't keep learning and keep applying and keep rechanging and keep growing, you're going to be totally useless in a couple of years. More importantly, there's a fun side to it. You never get bored. You know, you stay involved, you stay proactive, you get challenged. 